I'm Robin Black, and this is The Breakdown, UFC 203. Cleveland rocks. Alistair Overeem, the ream, an exquisite artist and truly refined and polished combat sportsman, tries to take the most prestigious belt in combat sports from the champ, Stipe Miocic. Miocic seamlessly blends his insane athleticism with smooth skills and ferocious fighting ability. The pride of Cleveland took the title when he knocked out Verdum in 167 seconds. He came ready with sharpened weapons for a well-understood assignment. We know about his submissions. Stay off the mat. It's hot lava! Hot lava! But Stipe also understood Verdum's desire to go to the mat, would encourage him to pressure forward, strike him with impunity, and he was right. Verdum applied heavy pressure, and Stipe was ready. Retreat, plant, and rip. Athletic direction change to harness the power of collision. The anchor punch. What do you say to that, Stipe? I'm world champ! I'm the world champ! Well, the world champ moves his feet like a featherweight. Incredible agility, freakishly fluid footwork. But these skills are also expressed from a superior athletic platform. He executes cutting maneuvers like a running back, decelerates, amortizes the potential energy, and accelerates in the new direction with punches. Andre successfully sidesteps, so he plants the right foot and drives forward. Hook, cross, hook. Skills and athleticism blended smoothly to create Stipe Miocic your undisputed UFC heavyweight champion. Your challenger, Reem, is a heavyweight kickboxing legend with more seasoning than a bucket of curly fries. He's got smooth, supple skills and expresses them freely in space. Watch here, catches the jab with the shoulder while the deep inside slip keeps him safe. The movement loads his weight on his left hip, which will create true mechanical efficiency to drive with the wide left hook he becomes an instrument that creates linear force straight from his foot in the ground through the target. This is the perfect punching machine. The ream is an advanced technology for combat. The real combat technology, though, is in the CPU, the brain. Is it advanced enough to manipulate the opponent? Maybe. He moves here to his left to draw out the right weaponry. He's aware of these threats, and he's aware that you're aware, too. He's using perception management, controlling what you see to manipulate what you think. Offers you his head, why not kick it? Because it's a trap? Maybe Reem wants you to think that. Now, which weapons are real? Which are bait? The left punch, maybe? Better track that left shoulder. Or is it the left kick? Better keep an eye on that hip. Eventually, you can't track all of it. You go to block the face, the liver is wide open. The ream's controlling what you see, which is affecting how you think. Pay attention, another threat coming. More mental energy to be expended. Where is the threat? Where is it? Nope, faints just to muddy the water some more. Perception management can help puppet your opponent, let you pull his strings to set up big moments like this. Beautiful. The finish is elegant, but the setup was divine. Let's watch Reem's hips to see what Andre saw. Left hip forward. Reem's going to imprint a pattern on Orlovsky. Now, right hip forward. As Reem continually switches his stances, he desensitizes Andre to that visual cue. Switch, switch, switch. Left hip forward. The stance switching starts to seem benign to Andre, less threatening. Now he squares up. Now left hip forward. The movement of the right hip to his desensitized vision will ca camouflage the brutal brutality of the jumping snap kick right here. Crack! Brings the left foot back, creates that mechanical efficiency again, and boom. To offset these games, the champ can look to add a wrestling threat early to the landscape of this fight. Sure, a completed takedown can lead to some damage through ground striking, as well as the chance to fatigue the ream, and a tired ream is a diminished ream. But even more importantly, Stipe can bring some vertical confusion to the picture. Bring the arms down and protect the hips, you eat the knuckle sandwich. Here's the simplified picture. Think play action, fake the ground game. Draw in the linebackers and freeze the defense. They overcommit or they hesitate once they bite. You throw the long ball, boom, awesome. My friends, we have us a great one. UFC 203, Saturday, September 10th. The two best heavyweights in the world will battle for the UFC heavyweight title, the most prestigious belt in all of combat sports. Can Alistair Overeem use modern technology to silence the crowd and become the king? Or will Stipe Miocic yell, I'm the world champ, I'm the world champ again, after he retains the UFC title? Do not miss this fight. And enjoy the hostilities, my friends.